Sorry about that long intro, or that long. <laughs> yeah, I hate doing that, but some stuff going on that I gotta get taken care of, of course. Well, interesting. Been running this app that, uh, well, not app, it's an application because it's command line application that keeps track of network usage. And in the one day that I've been running it, OBS just passed Steam. <laughs> and it's what? Six minutes. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Two hundred megabytes already. Well, anyway, let's get to it. Got to figure out what's being done today. I do have a few things to talk about trailer wise, which uh, that's that should be top of the top of mind. Oh, you know what? I need pile. Slowly but surely, this new desk is becoming my stacking spot, and I'm not a fan. I need that to stop. <laughs> Don't. Come on. One for one connect. What? Turn to one to twenty five dot one four one. Now I'm trying to get my my OBS blade. Oh, oh, there is a problem. It says it's not connected to Wi Fi. Just another moment. What do you mean couldn't authenticate connections? Fine. The one downside of using older hardware It's a little slower. Okay, it's a lot slower. <laughs> oh, I know what's going on. Well, fine. We'll deal with that another day. All right, again, sorry about the delay. Let's swap. Howdy. So let's do a quick, yeah, I can't really do background stuff, but uh, I got a refresh. Is it ever gonna show up? Ah, uh, there we go. Refresh washers and such, as well as bearings. That's going to be one of my first steps. Um, I'm a little concerned by the gaskets that I got because I don't know why I assumed the gaskets would not be paper we'll see they also don't look like the ones in the picture <laughs> but it says that they're supposed to work so 
worst case scenario, I pop that hub off. Actually, let's let's get a quick diagram here going. Boom, boom. Right, One hundred. Maintenance manual. We went over it last time, but it's amphibious. I, I don't know why I didn't know that. It makes sense. It's got drain plugs in it. Telephone cable splicer. Interesting. Uh, where is the tire diagram? Yeah, here. So this is what the gasket is supposed to look like. It says... I mean... Not really, right? I don't know. Uh, I can probably even just look like... It does seem to have the right number of holes. But I don't see a... A notch on the inside anywhere. I mean, it, they were a dollar fifteen each. If they're wrong, maybe I'm looking at. Uh, isn't there something like? I think there's like. Yeah, if I want to make my own silicone gasket or something. What is this stuff actually called? No, just silly, just gasket maker. Like, maybe that's what I have to do. I don't want to do that. I'm actually a little concerned that when I pull all of this apart, that's what I'm going to find under there. <laughs> you know. This, you know, I just realized each one of these is one bearing. I see two bearings and an oil seal. I'm going to have to find this wrench. <laughs> Preventative maintenance, general checks and services. That's taking it off. It says that the bearings need to be packed with grease. Let's see. Wheel bearings should be thoroughly cleansed and hand hand-picked with the lubricant specified in the lubrication chart. It does just say wheel bearings. I wonder if I was supposed to get four of these. That'll be interesting. Uh, maybe I'm lucky and they're still on sale. I just have to pay for shipping again. Um... Yeah, 100. Replacement trailer hub. Nope. M100 wheel bearings and grease seals are different than 416. Yes. I wonder if this is a gasket that's supposed to be for the 416. Tim can... Okay, I've got the right one. These... Replaces a well, 
well, this is just something else. This is basically just washers. I'm not too concerned as long as they're close. <laughs> Following our part numbers for the bearings, wrists, and seals. Yeah, I just found out about this. The Bantam T3. Apparently the Bantam company is the one that made the M100 for the military. Like, this is the... The U.S. This is not the U.S. This is the civilian version of these things. I just find that, like, of course, every company that makes something for the military actually makes something, and that's it. It's just really weird to me thinking that is that a person in a river in a trailer. With a motor. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> okay, that's funny. But anyway, I find it interesting that that is... Yeah, it's, it's four. I needed to order two more of these. So here's my hope. That I have at least two good bearings in each wheel. Uh, so... I need to be, I need to make sure and point out that I'm not replacing these because I have to. I'm replacing them because they've, as far as I know, never been replaced. So I'm having, I, I want this, I may not even replace them. I want to have insurance. I want it to be, if I pop that open and one of those bearings, you know, is covered in pitting and crap. And I can go, no problem, I got one. So I guess my hope is that there's just not four of them that are complete garbage. <laughs> or some quantity greater than two. I tried to kill myself with water. Oh, and I want to move you over here. Well, wow, cold water down the wrong tube. That's just wow, cold rot water terrible. Down the wrong tube. That's just wow, cold rot water terrible. Down the wrong tube. Oops. I give you the the full desktop audio. I'm still dying over here. Wait. All right. Uh, boom, boom, boom. We want to pop this out. You go away. So I don't have to hear myself talk. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you guys don't mind it, but man. You ever just listen to yourself? It's it's uh, entertaining to say the least. <laughs> so wait, why is why do I have this? If a snubble appeared, that's odd. Okay. <laughs> When I first came in, it said uh, unidentified ghost has been registered. Maybe, maybe that's part of the the shtick today. All right, I gotta get rid of something grass based. Uh, it's just average. Oh, I can't trade yet. Cool. 
All right, so I was talking about bearings, and I'm still dying. Jeez. <laughs> Drinking water on camera. Great idea. Uh, okay. So, yeah, my hope, since apparently I need four of these, roller bearing cup. Let's go back to the word bearing in here. I think it was here. Yeah, it was in here. It was in this area. Yeah, there we go. All right, so it's got the outer bearing cone. I don't see a bearing cup. What is it talking about here? Timken 18520. Let's see if we can't get a picture of that and see what the heck they're talking about. Eighteen five twenty wheel bearing. Outer race cup. Okay. That is definitely washer, lock washer, outer bearing cup. Okay, so that's something that goes inside this area luckily it's on amazon so we can get that pretty easily but it says that i also want four of those okay no problem just add that to my list for later. Drag it over here. Saved for later. All right. And that's that's part of the reason I'm going through all this. You know, you want to make sure that even though I haven't, I don't have it open, and uh, I'm not looking in it yet. I don't want to find out when I open it. Like, oh, well, now I've got to wait. And if I'm going to be taking all of you along and trying to film it live. Well, filming's over. What are we going to do today? <laughs> that's that's no good, right? All right. And I was thinking that I would try and basically draw this out so that I can say, okay, where's where's the battery going to go where's the weight distribution i don't know that i'm going to be able to do that cap screw at 4 1 oh yeah of course there's let's get the spreadsheet up oh, there it is pal Uh, there was something else that I haven't looked at yet. Oh, on the power side. Do I have... I don't believe I do. Okay. So one of the things I was thinking about that I'm going to have in there that Oh, but it's not goal zero. Why do I have goal zero? Oh. Uh, all of that needs to shift down by one. Okay, whatever. So, if I remember right, they also have a battery charger for their car. Oh, 
Or was that one of the other? That may have been one of the other makers. I need an ice maker. <laughs> uh, no. Wait. 12 volt, 50 amp, DC, DC. DC to DC on board. No, I think it, it had to have been one of the other companies. Was it EcoFlow? I think it was EcoFlow. Um, Portable, yeah, yeah, here we go. 800 watt alternator charger. I think they had a 400 as well. Begin early August. Charge while you drive. Stay powered up. Top up one kilowatt hour, only 1.3 hours. Suitable for expand. Okay. A Delta Pro smart generator adapter. Now, here's the question. What does the output actually look like here? And actually, let's do a search for oh, alternate tour. <laughs> I mean, is that basically this? Yeah, what? Well, exclusive intelligent charging, blah, blah, blah. Intelligent dual charging. See, what I'm worried about, though, is does this just charge this off of the battery? I would rather it charged off the alternator. What is, what is this trying to say? <laughs> Alternator? Insufficient. Sun? Sufficient. Sufficient for what? What are you trying to say? This is just a funny picture because they put it on the road with these up like it's driving. But if that's driving... <laughs> Yeah, see, it, it shows that it's pulling off the starter battery. But I don't want... So it, it's specifically saying... Here, I think that the alternator isn't enough. There's got to be an install book. 
or the solar input, or the what type of alternator? There we go. You can connect to DC home or core and then adjust the voltage. Manual. This should at least show like, okay, where does this get plugged in? Uh, plan a mounting site. Check the alternator. The automobile alternator may be a smart or traditional. The connection method of a smart alternator or traditional depends on the parameters. Taking a 12 volt system as an example, the vehicle's starter battery is 24 volts. The following perimeter should be multiplied by two. I mean, this says to me that it's just coming from the battery. Wait, let's just, okay, that's just the negative cable. But this won't really work because it wants to be mounted inside, huh? So it goes to the battery. That goes to the starter battery. Okay, yeah, this just goes to the battery. It doesn't go... I don't think this is going to work. A bramble guest. We'll send a great ball and see what happens. Did we get you? Looks like it. And of course, it's not wonderful. <laughs> but it's trade bait, so that's fine. Back at the ranch. See, my, so my concern here is that if it's running off the battery, it's going to say, oh, well, just continue charging. So what is the point, what is the part about installing it on the alternator? Alternate. It says alternator charging. This is one of those, you know, it, you definitely prefer to have everything in the same system, just on principle. Is this every place that it's going to say alternator? It turn those goodbye. <laughs> the starter battery connected to the alternator is charged. See, that's that's what I don't want.
Yeah, so this only goes from, it says alternator, but it's not. What about this one? Safety assured. All right. Um, it's only got a video of how to install, which I'm not going to sit through. Installation of it is not very complicated, and it is feasible for professional users with some hands-on ability. Installation. Is this suitable for DIY? It is feasible for professional users. <laughs> you know. Wind wiring. Avoid high temperature, sharp and friction cone areas. You mean I can't just glue this to the engine <laughs> so it's got an input Output cable is where it gets interesting because, and I, I also have a problem with it in that this communicates with one app, whereas this communicates with another app. Yeah, see, this, this uses theirs. It might be in the charging parameters. Hang on real quick. I'm suddenly getting a whole lot of buzzing. And considering um, somebody probably saw that, but uh, I'm trying to sell my house and hopefully something interesting is happening. So one moment. Yep, it's a good thing I checked. Something was needed right away. Just finishing it up real quick. One second. Quick sanitize and we is back. All right. Yeah, I don't want, if I'm going to do this charger, then I have to do that one. 
then I have to do that system. And that system is basically double this system. Obviously, there's there's a reason for that. They've put the effort into making things like this so it's more uh, plug and run. Yes, plug and run. Battery charger has a user mode and a specific parameters. There's prob there's gotta be a setting where just don't completely kill my starter battery to to run these other batteries, right? Right? Charging the auxiliary charge. Okay, so it'll also, ch it will also charge the starter battery, which is good, I guess. C charging logic. Didn't I already didn't I already go there? Oh no, it's a couple pages down. Okay. Battery charger allows you to charge the auxiliary battery with a starter battery connected to an alternator with solar panels connected directly to the battery charger or with both solar panel and starter battery. Battery charger employs the solar powered green priority logic. You need to customize the low solar current shutdown through the DC Home app. Okay. When solar generated power is adequate, And the battery charger adopts both solar and the starter battery to charge the auxiliary. So it's only going to kick in if solar power is slightly inadequate. So solar input is less than 15 and starter is greater than 13. Or 26. I think, uh, I'm going to guess the Bronco has a 12 volt battery. I don't understand. I, I couldn't imagine it being 24. Uh, do not sell. Uh, regardless of which engine is in the smaller, that's the smaller ones. Group 94R, direct fit DH7 yellow. That's not really what I'm looking for, though. Let's look at Ford. Let's see what Ford says. They're probably just going to say, bring it in, we'll take care of it for you. 
jerks. Yeah. Yep, there we go. That's that's all I really needed is the voltage. Twelve volt. Is this twenty one forward? Badlands. Wait a second. Boom, boom, boom. Bold. Bronco Badlands, 2.3. The 2.3 is only 4? Why didn't I know that? So I have the 6 cylinder, because I have the 2.7. <laughs> uh, well, that explains... So, story time, boys and girls, and others. Um, when I bought this Bronco, I was sent a sheet that had you know all of the options that I selected. I was, I was really adamant about having the upgraded engine. But then I wanted to also include a roof rack, but I couldn't put a roof rack on it for some reason. I couldn't figure out why, so I called the dealership. Now, at this point in time, this is pre-order. Um, I was I, I put this pre-order in within five, ten seconds of pre-orders being opened. Uh, we had had a long talk about it. We wanted to make sure that we had a car that we would enjoy, blah, 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 blah. When this came along, I was kind of excited about it. <laughs> so I, I put that request in. And then a couple of months later, uh, the Ford dealership reaches out to me and says, you know, here's here's all of the things that you selected to be in your car. And like I said, no roof rack. I'm like, hey, no, I specifically wanted a roof rack. Well, the, so I call up the dealership and say, why can't I put a roof rack on it? And they said, don't worry about it. It's it's probably just a, a thing in the system. We've never, we haven't actually sold any of these. So, you know, it, there's there's probably just something going on. You can get it taken care of once we, once we get the order in. So they put the order in and I get a call seven months later, something like that, saying, hey, your Bronco is here. Come on down and take a look at it. I get down there and it's a soft top. And I'm like, that, that would explain why I couldn't put a roof rack on it. It's a soft top. I didn't want a soft top. I wanted a hard top. And when I called you, you said, oh, we can get this taken care of. No big deal. Here's the reason. Anyone who's actually uh, gone through this process already knows the answer and they're already well aware of what the issue is. Because of the upgraded engine, the weight of the car is such that they can't put a hard top on it uh, and sell it legally in the United States. It's too heavy. Uh, it becomes a different class of vehicle, one that I guess they're not rated to sell or something along those lines. Basically, it changes changes the, the, the legal definition of the vehicle. I think it's only over by like 100 pounds. My, I do definitely plan on switching from a soft top to a hard top at some point. However, none of that was really explained to me. <laughs> and it was kind of annoying. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of soft tops. Don't get me wrong. I'm taking advantage of it. You know, you can flip it up and drive around in the, in the desert with the top down. 90% of the time you'd rather have AC, but you know, there's that 10%. There, there are certainly occasions where the top down's kind of cool. But anyway, short story long, too late, 12 volt DC. <laughs> so let's throw that out the window for now. But what, what I am getting down to at the end of the day is that I've got to add this and I've got to figure out, okay, how do I wire this back? 
because unlike their picture, which I should have just opened a new window, unlike their picture here, that shows a nice fancy schmancy it was a picture of a van I swear what happened to the picture of the van anyway my point is that I'm not plugging all this stuff in that close So, what is the maximum distance I can run to get yeah, this van? They've got it kind of central. It's, it's going to be a daisy chain network. So I'm kind of going to have to push this thing all the way back in the car, it seems. Uh, let's do... Twenty one to thirty feet. So at some point I'm running six gauge. Well, maybe not. So from the starter battery, uh, what is What's the actual length of this thing? 174 to 189. Oh, I need the uh, four door. Overall, 189.4 inches, which is what? Fifteen point seven feet. So if I'm pulling from the starter battery, I can do eight gauge. Yeah. Do I get something like that from Granger? Photovoltaic. 2,000 volts. That's a lot. Why is that so much more expensive than that? 25, oh, 500 feet? 500 feet. <laughs> Eight gauge. Is this two pieces? Because if this is two pieces already, copper clad aluminum. Is there any reason I shouldn't be using copper clad aluminum? I mean, realistically, the electricity runs on the skin. And since it's braided, the aluminum's kind of just holding up the copper. But it's cheaper this way. Um, let's see.
Copper clad has several different conductivity. Copper is a better conductor. Uh, yeah, I do want it to be lighter. But this makes it more likely to break. Copper is better for longer distance. <laughs> Solid copper are safer. Are they one safer or two safer? All right. I think at the end of the day, like even though this is listed as automotive, I don't think that's what I want to deal with. But it does also change my connectors. Because I'm looking at these. Oh, that's three conductor wire. I just need the, this. Oops. Three pin. But what size? What are, what are the size compatibilities? Rated current, cable OD range. Ten to twelve millimeters, I think. Eight point three six millimeter. Okay, so maybe that'll still work. That's fine, I can get rid of that. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. See, that's this is meant for audio. <laughs> so we want Is there something here that says copper clad, copper clad, copper clad, copper clad? I don't need a hundred feet. Oxygen free copper, twenty five feet. Yeah, see, I knew it was going to be a little bit more expensive. This is 25, 25 feet each. A little bit more expensive. Twice the price. A little bit more expensive, you know. So let's make sure we do this right. And reopen out. Road trip budgets. All right, so let's look at power. And one second again. Sorry, keep doing this to you. But don't worry, I'm doing it to myself too.
Okay, and we're back. Um, we are looking for Relight Flanged Inlet. I need to double check that. Uh, oh, but I have I have listed three conductor wire. Why do I have three conductor wire? I think I just wanted a backup. What do you think? Three conductor, eight gauge? Wait. This is eight gauge, three, 25 feet. Well, I think I can get away with just leaving it that way then, right? Maybe I put in 8AG. We put the right link in there. And I have 80, I have 85 here. It's 89, so... I don't doubt it actually went up since <laughs> I looked at it. The way Amazon's working lately, that's not impossible. All right, let's see if I can not kill myself with the water this time. Success. I can do things. So all of this needs to just be moved down one. But I also need can I insert a uh, without breaking anything. Because we need to make sure we have the charger. That's going to be zero. I mean, I'm going to have to measure it because I'm going to have 25 feet and I'm really hoping... Hey, Tauros. Great ball. I think I caught it. Wow, that was weird. A plane literally just flew between me and the sun. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but kind of crazy at the very least, right? Toros, fantastico. Cool. We cut the Toros, but what a bunch of bull. But yeah, so I'm looking at... I'm going to have 25 feet. It's... 15 feet, 16 feet, and then there's going to be a couple of twists and turns. I'm guessing at most a foot on each, maybe two. It's going to, it's going to be close, but I think we'll be all right. DC, DC charger. Four nine nine 
basically 500 bucks. Am I going to have to do that? Oh, yeah, and then uh, link. The one thing about the Renology stuff um, is I believe I don't have to get it from them. So if I look here, this is Renology IP67 50 amp here, and I go to the river. Oh, they actually even have different types. These reviews concern me. <laughs> uh, 40 amp. Why is a 60 amp? Oh, this is for... No, it's got a... It's a 60 amp... So what the heck is this thing? Renology 50 amp MPPT charge controller. 12 volt charge controller capable for solar panel and alternator power input. And it's hella cheaper. Why? Does this just not work with their app or something? And why doesn't that come up here? And why... Is it because I didn't, it's because I didn't put in the word alternator, I put in alternator. <laughs> so that's this one. Even for dead batteries. So this is... Let's look at the manual. Wait, what did that say? <laughs> Hang on. Did you see that review? Great item. Not well thought out. Five stars. I had to cut the cover to make another cable outlet. Okay. We'll just leave that as food for thought, huh? And why is this a picture? Versus this. Because... This, uh, I guess, okay, there's the wings, all right, that makes more sense. Let's see what this guy's talking about. So is this something, if I go back here, is this already there? Um, I was looking at, what's my dollar figure there? I have 2615, I think that's this one. Yeah. 
So I think that is the car charger already. It says that it already has the one, but then it down here says that you have to add it. See, it says it has this. 50 amp DC, yeah. So that should be this guy, maybe? Learn more. Let me see this solution. Not the Explorer kit. Okay. Pioneer is the one I'm looking at. Extra solar panel? None. We've got extra battery? Maybe. We'll figure that out. See? And then it says with? And it says none, but it's there in the picture. So do I still need that? This is probably, uh, I'm going to have to call and say, Hey, this is what I want. Yeah, see, every picture already shows it there. So it, it says that this setup as it is gives me two hours. Is this saying two hours of all of this at once? Or just two hours of each one of these individual? I'm pretty sure I'm going to need at least one more battery, maybe two. Because I need at least three hours of this and this and this. Plus a little bit of extra. <laughs> so they've got a 200 amp hour lithium battery. So it's definitely not this. What's my number for Starlink? Which, by the way, I have ordered. I can't wait to do some testing around that. I've got it listed as 100. So my watt hour is around 4,000. because that is adding all of this up and multiplying it by eight hours. So when I look at this, the battery that's in there, because they offer me another one, is another 200 amp hours at 12 volts. So amps times volts, so 200 times 12, 2,400. So that gives me, yeah, I need at least two of them for 4,800. So let me make sure that that gets added to that number. And I should be using this number. Three seven nine nine. That puts me a little over ten thousand now. But at least it's not a surprise later, right? But 
depending on what's actually in that kit, I may not need this or this. Oh, this is the weight of each one of these things. So for now, if I do that, I'm still under 10K. <laughs> uh, he said with nervous laughter. All right. Quick break again, I know, but my breaks have not been because I need to take a break. My breaks have been because I have to do other stuff, but this is different. All right, and we're back. Did you miss me? I missed me. Oh, and I missed a shuppet. So very sad. May as well at least add it. What's my loyalty? I am 70 loyal. All right. So the one thing, the one difference that I run into is, like, Renology is definitely a DIY situation. And this, I need to double for this number. So... It's not 2560, though. It was 2400. So now it is... 4800.
but this dollar amount is closer to these dollar amounts that have higher numbers. So there is that. Make sure this isn't important. Nope. It will. Kind of is. For a different reason. Need to answer that right now. I know. Great fun. Staring at me, staring at my phone. Yeah. Do you feel like you're at your dinner table? Because I feel like I'm at mine. Uh, all right. Water was... I really didn't get as much out of or into water as I thought. Uh, tires separate... Maintenance. Got the shocks. I should probably... Do I want to use this to also keep track of what I've already done? Or what I've already bought? Oh, actually, this is... Um... There is another thing going on here. OBS has currently passed. That's weird. It shows 2,446 megabytes sent, but 26,700 received. Oh, actually, that would be 100% true, because it's getting the raw data from that camera and then sending it off. So most of what it's getting is the raw data from this camera. That makes sense. So having sent 2 gig, basically... Um, I do need to also get, I was looking this up recently, do I still have it here? No. Um, there was an, another app that I was looking at, VNstat. Yeah, Beamon will show So this shows the actual transmit and received stats. Oh, one second. And back. <laughs> I know, only use it for a second, but whatever. So the maximum 239. I mean, that's really not, that's nowhere near as much as I thought it was sending. Oh, wait, no, that's sending. This is what it's receiving per second. So if I have service that gives me 10 meg, and I'm the only one using it, that should work, right? <laughs> At least that's what I think Starlink's listed as.
you know what? Let me check one other thing. Put this up for a sec. Because I'm going to have to drag you over, you here, you out the way. Bada bing. And what I'm looking for. Make many bandwidth. Max download over a hundred. Cool. But what's the max upload? <laughs> I think it said it was ten. I do like that it's a 30-day trial. I mean, to me, that's the best thing about it. Uh, it not only the 30-day trial, that's, yeah, you know, whatever. But the fact that I can pay for a month and then cancel for a month. Pay for a month, cancel a month. Like, I only really need to have it when I need it. Um, which is good. Uh, there's the expense up front of the hardware, of course, but it is what it is. I was looking at like the, the Rome 50 gig plan, which is only $50 a month. But then I realized, I mean, let's get this. Let's go to videos. Let's go to stream. Like, each one of these is 5-ish gigs. I mean, I guess that gives me a little more than 10 days. So that's about two weeks for 50 bucks. If I just re-up it for another 50, it's still kind of cheaper than Unlimited. But that's assuming that that's the only thing I'm doing. <laughs> And, you know, you want to be able to watch your Netflix, do your stupidness out in the wilderness. Like, I want to see the world, but I don't want to be stuck in it. <laughs> but where did I see... Was it specifications? For the mini... Dun, 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 dun. Connect up to 128 devices. Yeah, sure. Um, mounts and accessories. That's not what I'm looking for. I thought I saw somewhere, and it doesn't help you at all that I'm doing this on another screen. Sorry about that. I need to get better at that. Wind speed up to 96 or 60. So I'm not laying it flat on top of my car while I'm driving. Unless I'm off road, then it's possible. Our security is WPA2. That's unfortunate. You'd think they'd be at WPA3 by now. Yeah, there we go. 5 to 50, 2 to 10 upload. So on a bad day, it's going to be a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, the trees are buildings thing is going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting from all standpoints. Like, um, if I just pick any, uh, let's do Project Sunroof, right? And let's just say, explore your area. We're going to look at... Uh, what's one of those towns you pass on 80? Immigrant Gap, California. Great. Useful. Okay. Maybe something small or larger. Um, Colfax. There we go. So that should be 80, right? Maybe look the way these houses are like this little shopping center. Of course that works fine. But as soon as you get out to the houses, you start seeing, oh, they're, they're more red. There's some yellow areas. And I, I don't know anybody in any of these, but you see the problem here? Like, okay, they've, they probably actually have solar and cut this all out specifically so that they could get their power. I mean, you see, Sneasel. Blashu. But I can't, am I just catching everything today? Or have I already caught a Sneasel? Come on. Wow. I am catching all of the things. I don't hate that. See, all these make me wonder, like, did they cut all these trees away on purpose? Let's see how far up this goes. Heather Glen, Applegate. Uh, there's there's a big cut right there. Bowman. Am I going the wrong direction? I think I'm going the wrong direction. Yeah, I'm going into Pleasant Hill. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right, like Tahoe's not included, or Truckee. Actually, strangely, Tahoe isn't. But Truckee gets, Truckee's probably enough information on, like, see how these houses are red? Again, I'm just picking on random houses. Don't, don't go like, hey, that's my house. I don't want to know. And if you don't tell me, no one's going to know. Yeah, see, all these houses have their trees. Like, uh, that one's kind of red, but, like, this guy's, I feel like that's not as red. So, 1,271. Your roof may not be ideal for panels. See, as... That's kind of the thing I'm going to have to deal with. Like, I roll up and I'm camping. On one hand, I would rather have the shade. But on the other hand, I want my solar panels, right? So, whatever amount that I'm looking at, not only from a speed perspective for Starlink, but from a solar perspective of this off-road... Uh, it shows 400 watts portable. Half of that, maybe. Um, four versatile kit options. I don't like that it still just does not say what's in the kit. Includes. 
See, it says it includes it, but then up above it has it blocked out. Uh, it's got the 400 watt suitcase. It's got 2000 watt inverter. Iron phosphate battery. Okay, it's it's got the battery charger. Battery diffuse box. So this may have a lot of the stuff that I'm going to need already. What's the difference here? So this only has 200 watts of panels. Why? This seems like the better option. It still has the charger. Okay. One battery. Solar panel to battery charger connection. Okay. I mean, this says the amount of the fuse. This doesn't, oh, no. 12-way fuse box. Like, why would you pick this over this? What's the picture look like? Oh, this one's a little more... The Pioneer is more expensive than the one... Okay, well, that's why. So I think you're paying extra for this suitcase thingy. I don't see the one. So this one... Doesn't show it, but this says you could add it. The Adventure Kit doesn't show it. Only the Pioneer Kit shows it right there. I'm sorry, when I say it, I, s I mean the uh, Renology One. Which I think just enables all of the cool battery features and, and uh, or the app features, you know, so I can go, ooh, pretty. I mean, the solar suitcase isn't bad. It may not even be a terrible idea just to get a second one, but... Oh, it's the 400. Okay. So it is that bad. <laughs> Oops. Bam. So do you only get loyalty for catching? Because now it's 71. I don't know. Multi-input for battery charging. So I wonder why they go with this one. Well, I know why they go with that I, I don't know why they go with that one, but I do know. Kind of. I'm guessing that that is either one that they're not selling anymore. Uh, this is one that they're not selling anymore. Or this is not. Okay. 
Let's see if I can get away with it again. Oh, 35,650 Renology Rays. What are these Renology Rays? The higher level upgrade, the more rays you earn. Redeem coupons. Redeem physical products at DC Home App. That's something I need to do. I wonder if I can... Well, I know I can't right now, but I should try, or I'm going to need to try and like go through this app while I'm doing the install, right? All right, so on the power side right now, I'm basically just taking the rest of the stuff out because I think it's in there. I am still going to call and make sure that I'm not missing anything. It shows pictured, right? And under includes... Now, this one doesn't have it. This is the only one, other one that it says applies, right? It said adventure. Now, explore. So, it's not in the explore kit. It is in the pioneer kit. This is going to be the single biggest expense. <laughs> and th these are the things that always concerned me, is getting power. I mean, I could probably chop the, the panel off completely. And just decide if I want to buy that later. Because, realistically, I'm going to get those batteries charged by this guy. It's going to be from driving around. These are kind of just emergency. I don't know. We'll see once we get into building, right? We still didn't really go farther into the hitch area. So this is almost definitely, well, not even almost, this is what I'm going with. The question now becomes, do I put, do I get a, just off-road hitch, off-road trailer hitch, what do we got? I mean... I lean towards the pintle, but I kind of would prefer something that will swivel a little, but not flip. Articulating off-road coupler for two-inch receivers, trailer side. So this goes on to a regular ball hitch. And then that locks it in place. Okay. So does it also turn? Where does it... I would assume because of the way it's built, it goes this way as well as this way. 
Does it have anything to stop it from going too far? I need more information. Oh, there we go. Arc Articulating Off-Road Coupler. Let's see. Has anyone said anything bad about it ever? <laughs> Let's see. Can anyone tell me if I should use this hitch instead of the lock and roll? Is it heavier? My trailer is light. I need a few inches of rise to hook to my van. I think the lock and rolls are 20 pounds. Cruise Master D.O. Hitch. Let's take a look at that. Mimic you. That one's getting an ultra ball. I don't know why, but I like them. Did I catch it? There's something about the mimic you. It just makes me smile. It's it's like it's Pikachu at home. <laughs> Mom, can we have Pikachu? No, we have Pikachu at home. <laughs> Lock and roll. 3.5 ton. I don't want to get it from eBay. So this is the whole coupler. So is the, I mean, I'm going to have to cut what's there off anyway. What am I doing? Am I drilling through this and then bolting? Or like is the plan that I, that this has to be welded on? Lock and roll trailer. This is the trailer side. What's the other side look like? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I caught it, so it's going to look exactly the same. Channel tongue, no. Bolt on, weld on. Do they have pictures of what the trailer side or the car side is supposed to look like? I mean, those are great pictures and everything, but what's the... Lock and roll articulating. I'm 
They're both listed as trailer side. Where's the... Well, let's try just looking for lock and roll then, shall we? What the hell is that? <laughs> I hate these, like this super close up. Okay. It looks like it goes, it, it needs a different ball. Yeah, it needs one of these guys. It certainly looks interesting. Right? There we go. Now those are full pictures at least. 800 and what? Oof. Although, I think that would attach to the existing connector for the brake. Uh, that's kind of important too. Like, what's the locking situation look like for it? Arc XO off road. Let's look. At, let's look at them. What do they got? You go to shop, and their collections are products? Then what are all these? <laughs> okay. Off-Road Cruiser Class 3. Carton includes a tow ball. Quick hitch locking system. Grease points on all components. I don't see anything for lock. Like, although this is nice. Corner Steadies is what they're going with for the name, huh? Thirty and twenty four inch. Those are interesting, too. Twenty five is so is that twenty available in twenty five and thirty three inch in extensions? Is that their maximum? And why does it seem like they don't? Oh, maybe this is how it rolls up and out of the way. allows you to use as towing gear acting as a corner steady to stabilize your trailer or a jack <laughs> product is great return policy is tough this 
Leocardio Garza, I see you. <laughs> but why did you give it five stars, though? <laughs> Just be careful and size them directly. Well, okay, I, that's one of those times where, like, okay, the review is not 100% positive, but it's negative on the company, not the product. So, all right, five stars. I get it. I had a minor issue with the shipping company. Well, that's the company. Okay, so again, happy with the product. I wish they had more than one picture and not the same picture with the word new. Because <laughs> I'm going to guess that these go up, right? But what's with all this bolting stuff? Is this... Does this get welded to the outside or bolted to the outside? And then you can just stuff these under there and then do 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 do. That'd be my guess. But I'm still not getting any information on this lock and roll. This looks like it could be the other side of it. Lock and roll trailer coupler. Only fits. Okay. Fits lock and roll couplers. Okay, so now this is just a locker that goes. <laughs> Not a locker. It is a lock. <laughs> is this it? I think this is it. Okay, so this would be straight, or I get the adjustable. I I like the idea of getting an adjustable. The problem is, it only ever needs to be adjusted once. Once it's adjusted for that trailer, especially something like this, it's done. In which case, why did you pay extra for adjustable? And I also, I kind of prefer the idea that something can be adjusted and then stay that way. Most of these have that look like, oh, they're, they're always going to be temporary. And when you look at this, like, any numbnuts with a, a socket wrench can then just a socket rent a socket <laughs> the world is their oyster they they own your trailer now it's not super secure and this is kind of the same thing like technically you have this pin you could lock that pin at the other end but this gets undone and it just flips the other way and then you unhook the trailer. But the other one that I'm looking at, the arc, this guy, I don't see anything to lock it here either. I wonder if anybody Class 3, no switch, quick hitch, extreme off-road coupler. Like, does full off-road articulation mean it can flip over? I 
Well, let's go back to this one I was looking at. What happened? Wasn't I reading some people arguing about this stuff? Oh, it is. It's here. Main reason I'm considering the arc is if I need to be rescued that non-two-inch ball hitches could be a problem. Arc makes several nice products. I just don't think the hitch is one. Okay. We have a treg system. Treg system. Treg system hitch. Mix and match adapter system. Alakazam! Okay, I didn't catch that one. My last check was 71, and I caught one. 72. So it only counts if you catch them. That's rude. Wait, what? I have a treg system. Interesting question about the tow vehicle, which I assume is a tow vehicle, but why even being considered? drag the XO coupler right over a rock and it wouldn't even notice. Good point. I'm probably overthinking this. I don't think I'm overthinking it. I mean, I, I'm i not overthinking or underthinking. I guess at least this one's a lock. How does this lock? Oh, so you're not like a lock, you're, you're a trailer lock for $130. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put these guys squarely in no. So it's basically lock and roll or arc. I kind of like this smaller one. I don't like... I don't know how I feel about that. Although, yeah, I think that's what he was saying. The other person was saying, I may have to run it upside down. 
All right. We're going to do this one. Let's take a look at other. They don't have anything that's straight. Is this just the same thing I was just looking at? It is. Okay. Um... I guess this is their newer one. Because this has a little bit of a swoop down to it. That one's flat. 329 and same price. And then I guess my height adjustment kind of becomes the ball hitch. So that is kind of a downside to me on those ones. Like this is 200 bucks. And then you look at the other side of it is another 400 bucks. So that's 600, which gets into the territory of the one I already said, nah, -uh to. So yeah, I think it's going to be this one. Three twenty-nine, and this is something that definitely needs to be added to this. All right, so I've got any dollar amount. Insert left and insert left. And now we do the if E one equals X, then this otherwise zero I should add another here can I just say otherwise nothing because that looks cleaner That does look cleaner. This. And then we go back here. Don't have the weight yet. I don't think I have weight. Oh, I do have weight included here. Um, so, boom, boom. Let's look at this. I don't think the weight really plays into it, but. 
We also have lock and roll hitches available. What do they have to charge for lock and roll hitches? Oh, there we go. Fixed tight couplers off road. Well, in straight or drop rise on vehicle side. So this, this looks like it's the whole thing. This could be worth keeping in mind. Uh, this is, well, let's add this one. Because it's only going to be one or the other. And this is called... No, not you. That's not the one I want. All right, fine. We're just going to open it from here. Off-road class three. Or what the hell, man? Or fixed height couplers by Danu. And their price, oh, of course, their price is three ninety. Oh, wait. Three ninety two. Don't have a weight yet. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a weight on these. No one caught the Alakazam. Oh man, I'm not gaming. I left my title the same. There we go. At least now my title actually says what I'm doing. <laughs> ah, joy. One second. I guess what I'm really doing here is putting you guys on hold.
Yep, glad I checked it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I've told them, hey, if it's super important, like you really need to get my attention, jump in chat and just say, hey, check your phone. What are you going to do? Electric. Quick. I don't think I caught that one either. Nope. Womp womp. All right, so we've got the couplers. Um, stabilizers, that was one of the things I was looking at. Okay, so they've got them listed as trailer jacks. But it is there under trailer parts too, right? Jerry can holders. You know I need one of those. Although, here's a question. All right, so let's... Where did I put... I'm just bringing up the maintenance manual again. I should just have this open in its own window. All right, so you look at these old pictures, right? You could put a jerry can here. You could put a jerry can here. You could maybe put a jerry can here. Mine doesn't have the uh, the box. This box is supposed to be holding all of the the cables, basically. So you can plug in and uh, be able to turn the the tail lights into blackout or regular mode. And run the belt, run the, run them, you know, all of the important things that you need for military purposes. Those, by the way, have a really cool, interesting concept in and of themselves. Quick story time again. So if you look at the the shape of these, they look like a regular tail light. Actually, here, let me. Uh, Surplus, cheap, night, uh, they're called night, not night lights, uh, break, maybe they can just do break lights, no, break, yeah, here we go. So the way these are set up, basically, is you have your regular tail light here, but you flip it into night mode and this one doesn't come on anymore. All you get is a little tiny dot, basically, right there. And what you're supposed to do, if you're the driver, is just follow that dot. Only one guy gets headlights, and that's the person that's all the way in the front of the convoy. Everybody else just has to follow these dots and make sure that they're... <laughs> it's kind of terrifying, but kind of cool at the same time. I don't have these on mine right now. Maybe? I don't know. It's just... A, it's a cool set up but anyway um so yeah right now i have regular tail lights here so like i was saying i can put a jerry can i can put a jerry can i want to stay away from putting anything on the back uh, the reason for that is like i've said servicing these you're supposed to just flip them up and balance them on that back. Let's see. I wonder if 
there's just a picture of it. Yeah, there's no pictures of anyone doing it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's not exactly the same. That's someone with a cream. But no, that's that's what you're supposed to be able to do is just flip them up. Like that's why everything is kind of behind here, and why that back area is just kind of flat. You can just plop, prop them right up. There is a hook back there. But it go it's basically the same depth as this little brim. So it's kind of protected. Does this show it? Oops, I would bet it's in here. I mean of all the places to have some stupid rudimentary picture of a trailer on its back it would be a military manual <laughs> that's kind of funny not what I'm looking for but still kind of funny what oh how to make your own cleats for the thing that's that's pretty cool Oh, here's the individual. Oh, nice. They actually have everything broken out. I mean, of course they do, right? I would love to get my hands on some of these boxes. Because these are what are supposed to go in the back there. And you just have them so that they open up on each side, right? Data charts, no. And it's not any of these pictures. In most everything military, it has kind of a flip it on its side or flip it on its back, at least in this time period. I don't, I don't think you're rolling over a, uh, a Humvee. <laughs> oh, well. I can look for it until the cows come home. Well, that's so weird. I just signed my, I just sold my house. <laughs> Such a weird feeling. Anyway, yeah, now I'm just scrolling randomly. Weird, weird feeling. Stabilizers, that's what I'm looking for. Got sidetracked by jerry cans. Oh, yeah, because I, I had a, jeez, I had a purpose this entire time, I swear. Uh, let me go back to the picture. So yeah, jerry can, jerry can. I want to stay away from putting anything on the back. Uh, at least anything that doesn't fit under this lip or, you know, between these handles. So, actually that, that pose isn't interesting. 
because I could, right now I have my license plate holder sticking out. That's going to move over here. Uh, but one of the things I've been worried about for the sides is having something that lifts up that's going to hold either a, a cutting board or a cutting board with a hole in it for a sink or, uh, uh, or my griddle. I have a camp stove griddle. Is it camp stove? Basically a knockoff Blackstone. I think it was called, I thought it was called camp stove. Is it? Oh, it's Camp Chef. It's much smaller. We're sorry, but no, what? <laughs> Grills, stoves. Yeah, apparently they do not sell the griddle anymore. That's kind of cool. That's the box for it. Oh, unless they're being called flat top grills. Are they really calling them flat top grills? It's a griddle. Damn it. Flat top grill. No, it is a griddle. Well, I do have to say, uh, one of my, I do have an issue with the camp, the, sh the, the flat top grill. Um, they use sheet metal. And that sheet metal, the f when you first get it, it's fine. Then you use it the first time, and as it cools, it cool it has a standard thing where it just warps. And it's in the manual, like, yeah, it's gonna warp. Don't worry, when you heat it back up, it'll unwarp. That's just okay with you. <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty awesome. It's none of these, though. I mean, it kind of looks like this without the handle. Yeah, it's this guy. The Versatop. That's that's it right there. But this side to side will warp. Just nature of the beast. And it's got the little drip plate. Yeah, this this is exactly it. And honestly, it's awesome. But It is tempting just to go with like a, a regular stand for it too, because it doesn't need, it doesn't need to be attached, right? Like there's no real, it's not a requirement. It, it is it even nice? Come to think of it, it's it's not. Yeah, come to think of it, I don't want that attached. Why would I want that attached to the thing? My The tent is right there. You got to cook and everything's got to go up into the tent. Like you have no choice in the matter. I do want to stand for it. Preferably something with a little side table. See, this is why I'm doing this. I kind of talk through and, and say, what? Let's do... Versa top. Now they have it on their site. Now they have it on their site. Okay. Um, do they have? 
I want an accessory. That's kind of cool. Trevenant. Did not catch. Modularity made easy. Potinch. Like on one hand, it might be kind of nice to switch it out for a grill. And normally it just kind of goes on a picnic table. But I don't want it to sit on a picnic table. Uh, not storage, not an attachment. Tables. I get, I mean, that's kind of the answer, right? Bring your own picnic table. These are really cool. If you've if you've never used one of the the fold out camp tables, they are nice, and you can get little ones. Uh, I'm sure I can find an Amazon knockoff of this. It'd probably be a third of the price. Um, yeah, see, something like this guy would probably be just fine. It's a bit smaller. The little plastic storage bags aren't needed or helpful, but you start looking at half the price, right? That's funny. Like, we're getting to that point where... Yes, yeah, that's, that's 50 bucks. List price of 90. Yeah, nobody ever sees $90 for that. I mean, I could just... We've already got one of those. I could just make sure that there's a space for that. Well, it's bigger, but... I just don't like the plastic ones. <laughs> but yeah, like these guys, these are cool. These are so cool. You just flop it out when you're out at the range or when you're camping, obviously. Uh, heck, up in my uncle's front yard, I've just plopped that thing out. It's just, it's so cool. <laughs> I mean, even the Coleman is cheaper than that. I don't know. I think before I even consider adding these to the to the list, I probably validate my ideas. Like these are kind of nice too. Idea that you can stuff stuff in there, but those just become reds if you put anything with food in there these aren't bad but they're they end up being a bit large which is kind of the problem with this 200 pound see i like that one it's not plastic it always concerns me when their their biggest thing is like no 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 this can hold stuff why do you need to tell me that it can hold stuff? Is it because you look at that and go, that is going to collapse on me? See? You don't look at that and immediately think, hmm, that's going to fall over. Even though it folds up into the same thing. But it doesn't need to say, yeah, I can hold stuff. You can just look at it and tell, okay, it can hold stuff. Okay, rant over, probably, maybe.
these things are crazy. I, we have a friend that when we go, when we go camping, she, I want to say she, but realistically it's they, uh, her, her, her husband and kids, they bring a kitchen. They bring an entire kitchen. It's the, the only word I have for it is amazing. Um, it's more than I would want to deal with, but when it's there, it's like, wow, they have two tables like this. They have a uh, fold up, um, what are they called? pantries for all the dry goods and then they line all this up next to the bear box so that you know the other stuff goes in there they have four or five of those uh little gas burners that can cook everything <laughs> it's it's insane to watch it all just unfold and, and get set up and it's got its own covered area like just bring a whole kitchen tent why not it, but you got to respect it when it's there you're just like wow <laughs> it is impressive so yeah i don't need to worry about what i was talking about putting something here so i should look at jerry can holders Going back to, what, 40 minutes ago? Squirrel. Top loading, front loading. Well, either way, what this ends up being... Uh, there, is, there is still something about this to say, because... I guess that's not really a jerry can there. So maybe they'll fit. I don't want to do another jerry can. I had a set of the metal jerry cans. And over time, they just, they're, they're problematic. Um, first, the, the inner tube, which is supposed to allow air out when you're dumping it out. It, you've got to make sure you get something that that has been done properly on. And those aren't cheap, and, and it's so much easier to just have a little on the on the side that can take care of that for you. The ones that I had, one of them, uh, the tube broke off on the inside, and the other one, it broke away from the side, so the entire tube was just flopping around inside the can. And then at one point, uh, one I had two of the cans in the back of my car while I was driving to Reno and once I hit about Tahoe I heard this loud bang and I go back there and the thing had expanded outwards and collapsed the top like it still works but now it rattles around everywhere no plastic is the only way to go on this one which is funny considering I was just saying I don't like plastic. I don't like using plastic, but for something to hold gasoline, something that's way worse than, well, we don't know that. They're byproducts of each other, and <laughs> we're finding out plastic's not so great either. But I, I just, you're already holding something bad, put it in something bad, especially something that's that can handle it more securely and, and keep you from spilling. So I'm definitely looking at not metal jerry cans, but this looks like it can hold the not metal jerry cans. So I guess what that means, long story short, too late. extras and I think I already have like oh that's just a miscellaneous link so let's add one of these guys just for the sake of it 
Like, why is King Camp? Is King Camp like a known brand and I just don't know about them? Like, heck, maybe even the Coleman one. I mean, it's all... It's all the same. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Tavable. And it's what? Uh, the type link and then cost. I'll just do that for now. Um, and then we're also looking at Those jerry can things. We'll just put, oops, uh, eighty five. Welded frame kits. Do is this also by Danu? Yeah, that doesn't it doesn't do me no good. All right, uh, trailer jacks. I think is what they were under, right? Oh, great products. That's right. I had to look at their products. Do I want the black edition? How much do they they charge? Twenty bucks, twenty five dollars to paint it. I don't like their picture setup. Why? What is the point of this? Magnetic removable side. Oh, that's cool. At least it's magnetic. I mean, I, I do need the landing gear. The mounts on this are odd though. Like I think I have I would have to screw those into the side. Easy guide self-aligning boat loading system. Nope. I really wish that there were more pictures of like how this mounts. Actually, based on that handle, it looks like you just hold it there and then crank it. Or is, is that just so that you have a place to hold while you're cranking? I need to know. <laughs> I 
XO corner steadies. Let's just look for, let's see if there's another, that's not what I wanted. Copy. Is there something else? Oh, these guys have videos. Okay. Okay, so that's what that is. That makes a little more sense. Okay, so those are the 25s. So they go max to 25, minimum 19. So if I go, that, that means 27. That means by default, they're, those ones are way too big already. Something in the middle would be perfect, but... So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I can install them basically here and then they can fold down. These are supposed to be underneath. I don't want to I don't want to have them folded. Hmm. I don't think the way that these are installed makes sense for what I'm trying to do. Can be used with a high lift. Where was that? That was here. Okay. So it seems like the idea is that you mount them. You mount to this, right? I mean, I guess I could do it like that. Underneath. and kind of put them in the center, close, close to the center. But let's, let's add these to the maybe list. 
because I think they could work. It would it it'd be unpleasant to be laying down and do -do 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 four times. I wouldn't want the black edition. <laughs> Okay, it's not a jack. What are you listed as then? What are you under? Trailer parts? Okay, it's under towing gear. All right, we want the corner studies, but not the black edition. We really don't care about the black edition. Why are these still the black edition? Wait, these look different. Drop down corner studies. Let's see, just as one more check. Yeah, so they've got them on, most people just have those on low points. That's the answer. So my clearance on that trailer is 20 inches and some change. That may change with the tires, but those sit completely retracted at 19 inches. So yeah. Um, oh, this I have this under tent, huh? thing and that thing costs 209 versus what come on get your redirect on okay these are way smaller these are the four packs Maximum lifting is 18 inches. They are 12 inches and yeah, these would be too small. So we got to get rid of you, add a note. And what is our weight on these guys? Do they have a weight listed? Of course not. What about on trailers.com? 
Wasn't I just looking at trailers.com? Oh well. It's five o'clock somewhere. I think I am done for the day. Hopefully, now that we've gotten some stuff taken care of, we can start looking at what a real budget looks like. Well, this is my real budget right now, but we can start looking at what this really looks like, what I need to get rid of, and the little things that are included, like i got to be able to record. I've got to be able to set all this up so that uh, this can keep happening, right? We'll see. We'll also see what editing looks like once I actually start doing stuff. Um, this will probably all end up being B-roll for edits. <laughs> but it is what it is. So since I forgot to say it at the beginning, I'll say it now. If you were lurking, thanks for hanging out. If you were, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for making it to the end. Really means a lot for uh, making me a part of your day. And until tomorrow or the next time, whenever I see you, take care.